Hi everyone, welcome to Cloners. This is Dr. Ramakrishna, a scientist, researcher, working on the air layering properties. So welcome back to the, the science behind air layering video series. Today we are going to learn most important, most, most useful topic of the working principles of rooting hormones. That is nothing but how the Cloners rooting hormones are working. What are rooting hormones? Rooting hormones are nothing but plant growth regulators or auxins that helps to plant to grow roots faster and stronger. So how many types of rooting hormones are there? There are mainly two types of rooting hormones. First one is the natural rooting hormones or auxins which are indole 3 acetic acid known as IAA, indole 3 propionic acid known as IPA and indole 3 butyric acid known as IBA and phenyl acetic acid known as PAA and salicylic acid known as SE. Among these indole 3 butyric acid known as IAA and salicylic acid SA are widely used natural rooting hormones or oxygen. The second one are the synthetic rooting hormones which are naphthalene acetic acid known as NAA and 2,4 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid known as 2,4 D and 2,4,5 trichlorophenoxy acetic acid known as 2,4,5 D. Among these, naphthalene acetic acid is widely used synthetic rooting hormone. Apart from that, there are some miscellaneous chemicals like jasmonic acid, brassinolites, springolactones, fluorocusinol are also used as a rooting promoters. Remember that humic acid, pseudomonas and mycorrhiza are not rooting hormones. They are the root enhancers that will indirectly support the root enhancement through plant mutants uptake for the plant growth. Do we really need to apply the rooting hormones in the plant propagation? Well, it depends upon the type of plants you are going to propagate. No, no need to apply the rooting hormones for the easily rooting plants which contain the higher level of auxins at the node. For example, like um, mulberry tree, fig tree, and uh, sweet potato, basil, mint, etc. But in the case of difficult to root plants having the lower level of auxins, we must have to apply the rooting hormone at the node and that will enhance the rooting success and we are providing the these rooting hormones in a sufficient quantity for the for their root growth. For example, like mango, sapota, these are very difficult to rooting plants. So it is also depends upon the, the scale of propagation. For higher success rate, yes, you need to apply the rooting hormones for the difficult to root plants in a large scale propagation like mango, sapota. But there is no need to apply the rooting hormone for the easily rooting plants in a small scale operation with only one or two plants. So, what are the main key roles of rooting hormones. So, when we apply the rooting hormones at the cabium layer and node, it simply mimics the plant's natural signal to root growth. It simply activates the merismatic cells at the cabium layer and node and simply tell that to the plant, it's time to grow roots here at the node. Right. What happens chemically when we apply the rooting hormones? The rooting hormones like indole 3 butyric acid IBA and naphthalenistic acid NAA and salicylic acid SA. So when we apply these hormones to the node area of plant, they will penetrate into the plant tissue and simply they will trigger the plant tissue cells like merismatic cells in the cabium area and node area and simply they wish to give the signal to form the formation of roots to the plant. That means 
chemically they are conveying to the plant that from natural healing process of wound to the roots formation at the node area right i hope you learned something new about how this rooting hormones are working right you know this video is a little bit more bit scientific manner of explanation bit boring more lot of chemistry is involved but it's all about the chemical biology right? how the rooting hormones are acting on the node area of plant thank you very much for watching my video and if you found this video informative please like share subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries and questions please comment in the comment section